All right. Hello, everybody. Good evening and welcome to the Vogue Indie Showcase. And uh, yeah, we're looking to expand our shows beyond just uh, what we're offering on Sunday night and what you get with the various podcasts over at VogueNetwork.com. Uh, hoping to take a look at uh, some more games, especially um, small and independent games from you know small studios and uh, solo developers and group developers. And tonight we're going to be taking a look at a new game that was just released today. In fact, you can't hear it because I just had the sound down a moment ago. We'll turn on uh, some of the music and sound effects here so you can hear a little bit of the soundtrack there. Much better. Uh, we're going to check out this game called The World Next Door. And The World Next Door is uh, published by a group named, uh, or excuse me, it's uh, created by a group called uh, Rose City Games. I hope I got the name right. Oh, good. It just scrolled along the bottom. Yes, thank you. Uh, Rose City Games, and uh, I believe they're based out of Portland. And it was published by Viz Media, who is um, kind enough to uh, pass along a key to VOG Network uh, for, on Steam tonight so we could take a look at this game. So this is like a blind playthrough, first playthrough. I don't know a lot about this game. I really just opened it to do the configuration, and that was about it. Um, even though chat is not displayed on screen tonight, you can certainly feel free to chat away in the chat room. I am. Uh, keep an eye on it, and if you want to say hello and all that good stuff, you can uh, as we make our way through the world next door in this uh, adventure here. So let me just make sure. Again, the settings, um, pretty standard stuff. Looks like you can customize music, sound effects, voices, and all that. Looks like there's vibration involved. Uh, but also, I noticed there was this assist mode, so that sounds like it might be a way to... Uh, have like a Bobby Blackwolf mode in the game. Turn down the difficulty a little bit uh, so that maybe if it becomes too much, that's something uh, that you can use to, I guess, focus on the story if that's what you want to do. Uh, I am going to play tonight on my trusty Xbox 360 controller uh, as it seems like everything is working fine with that on Steam. Uh, I am playing the game on Steam. The game did come out today. It's brand new. So it's out on Steam and it's out on the Nintendo Switch. And it's kind of interesting because I noticed the, the dots or the little, um, the way the controller looks at the bottom kind of looks like a Switch controller, but not really. Because if they leave it really like nondescript like that, it can kind of apply to anything without having to say x button o button triangle or whatever but for right now it's only on steam and switch i don't know nothing about anything else besides that so let's let's do this let's get into the game i know it says continue but that i i didn't i launched it and hit new game to make sure my stream worked and that was it so we're gonna just start start from scratch and i didn't look at the story last time and i want to know i want to know what's going on here so let's enjoy the story Okay, so we have two worlds, Earth and Emrys. I used to play uh, Final Fantasy with a guy named Emrys. <laughs> yeah, Orange Riot, I see what you're saying in chat there. The way the button is shown is pretty normal for Switch games. Yeah, but it would kind of, you see what I mean about like how it would kind of work for other games too? Okay, I gotta read the, let's see, long go to Emrys, portals. Okay, I get humans and magic. Uh oh, I didn't. <laughs> I miss, I miss the whole other thing. Whoops. I was too busy reading chat. Okay, so the portals link between the worlds. They only open occasionally. And a big festival. Okay, so... You gotta, you gotta win the lottery. It's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, kind of. Oh, there's your, there's your name check to the title, The World Next Door. Okay, so it's pretty simple setup. Didn't have to sit through 40 minutes of cutscenes. That's good. All right, this is be it. Oh, they kind of talk like um, Zelda characters. <laughs> I like that. Oh, my controller's vibrating along with the uh, cell phone there. Oh, I like the realistic. Uh, I, I dropped my cell phone about 500 times and neglected to have a case on it. Yep, that's. Uh, I know that one. Okay, yo, girl.
Okay. So she must already have friends on the other side. That's what I think I was gathering from the intro story. And they're texting her. Oh, so the... F okay, so the phone kind of doubles as your... Um, your me Okay, so the message is what I just saw. Oh, so the phone kind of doubles like as your menu. Oh, okay. And you can get a little background. Okay, so she's been into the culture her whole life. And she feels like an outsider. Okay. Okay. Uh, online. So these worlds must be connected through the interwebs. I gotcha. So, okay. Oh, she has an ability. So we, we we're already learning about that there must be some type of battling that's going to happen a little later here. Okay. So they've been online friends. They're going to meet up. So there must be quests. Okay. Oh, so you can see where this is where this is kind of guiding you to. Lisa or Liza. I want to say Liza because I, I see that and I just can't help but think of Liza Minnelli. Okay. Oh, there, oh, there's your kind of like nondescript controller. I guess it kind of it kind of looks like a Switch Pro controller, kind of, but it it can also look like oh, and it also has the um, keyboard controls. If I wanted to use the keyboard, tether swap dash. I'm hoping there's a tutorial because I'll forget all this. So let's just try to find Liza. So is this is this must be like the way back? Okay, it's not letting me go through there. And good to see you in chat, Dr. Tia. Yeah, this does look kind of neat. I'm liking the art style so far. And I like the kind of ambient music in the background. There's a community board. Uh-oh. Missing kids. That can't be good. Wow, that's a, a, is this the portal? Okay, well, I didn't get sucked into a, oh, there's my little friend. So if they're all buddy-buddy, why did they only leave the portal open for a week? Free, free travel for everybody. Okay, so she didn't just come through the portal. This is kind of like she's already met her friends. Okay, I get it. What do you? Oh, so now I get now I get the whole little choice. <laughs> I like that they uh, represent it with emote icons. Um, I want you know what? I bet everybody. I bet everybody else is picking the happy one. I'm gonna pick the mean one. <laughs> Hopefully it's not one of those, like, she'll remember that choice. <laughs> Is it illegal? Okay, so you can ask some more questions. All right, I want to know about the mask. Why is why is June hiding behind a mask? <laughs> That's kind of a it's kind of a cute tradition. I mean. I can't profess to know about what it would be like to be connected with another world like this, but I would think, you remember in the movie Independence Day, 
there were the people that were like excited to see the aliens and they climbed to the top of the first interstate building they were all wearing like martian helmets and stuff and then you know the aliens fried them but it's nice to see that in this game's perception of the future we get along with people from other worlds it's that's a little more hopeful than uh, total annihilation as portrayed in the movies <laughs> i love it thank you it's kind of tight All right. I want to know more about school. <laughs> oh, come on, Pixel Pacas. Don't get mad at me. Come on. Everybody always picks. This game just came out today. I know other people are streaming it, and I bet most of them are picking the, you know, good guy answers. But you're always curious what's good. What, what happens if you pick the not so? What if you pick the little naughty answers? It's not mean. It's not like I'm I'm hurting her. I'm just kind of not being pleasant. <laughs> I love the little Simlish they talk in. Okay, zoo! Okay, so... A little, little exploration of the world. What's in this door? Sorry, my Final Fantasy brain is just going to take over and I'm just looking for treasure in hidden nooks and crannies. Okay, I guess I, I guess it won't let me in some of those doors. Boo. Alright. I can't go in here either. Well, there is this tram. Oh, that must be their other little friend. Cool. They have like unicorn tails. That's rad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be nice to this one because he got a unicorn tail. I am pretty cool. your roll. <laughs> okay. I'm liking these responses as emoticons because it makes you think that this one's going to be a little flirty. And I'm all about flirty. <laughs> okay. Let's make it extra awkward. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's anything else to see here, so I'm I'm all about let's just go. Get on the tram. Yes. That's cool. It's like one of the um like sky trams that they used to have at like Disneyland back in the day. Oh, 
Oh, I see. That's why they don't care for this guy as much, because he wears, like, a Satan mask. Uh, Dark Tattoo, I'm not thinking of the people mover. That was on a rail, but there was there used to be like the bobsleds that would take you from like they used to I swear they had it at Disneyland. I know they had it at like some of like the like Six Flags type parks too, but I'm sure lots of dumb kids throw things from those and stuff, so they probably got shut down at most places. But you know what I'm talking about. Uh okay, I don't want to be that mean, but I'll just be kinda cheeky. Hmm. Well, if you're going to offer me alcohol, sure. <laughs> okay, again, I'm not going to be that mean, but I will be inquisitive because I want to know I want to know more about where we're at. They practice spells and things there, okay. So they're not supposed to be there. <laughs> Alright, again, I'm, I'm the inquisitive sort. So they're saying the shrines are like power plants on Earth, okay. But let's go in. Who cares that they're restricted? We're going on an adventure. I'm sure no danger awaits us whatsoever with this choice. Okay, so here's all my friends. I like this one because he's got the rainbow tail. There's my BFF. Okay. Ooh, what's in the well? Don't fall in. An old healing well. Hmm. <laughs> so, this hardcore guy's got the uh, cooler full of beer there. It's all right, I guess. Oh. Another new character. Oh, she's got like sparkly crystal thingies in her shoulders. <laughs> I know, right? Dartitsi in chat. I want to party with him. Yeah, he's definitely like the, he's the cool kid because he drinks. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna be nice to her because I like her sparkle shoulders. Human sacrifice! Surprise, we're kidnapping you. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe I am on team that guy. Maybe I'm on team Horace. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm into it. Let's do fire, fire. So I get to choose. Oh, well then. Oh, well. I'm letting Satan show me how to do it. I wonder if I wonder if that's a choice that'll have consequences later on. Oh well. 
Well, it's a game I can always replay. Okay. <laughs> I love you guys in chat. Pixel Pacas, Satan take the wheel. Dark Tetsuya, yes today, Satan. <laughs> yes today. All right. Rocket. Okay. So um, this must be like game mechanics now. Okay. A group of three matching runes. To oh, okay. Oh. Ooh. Is this going to be like... Like a match... <sighs> oh, I'm about this. Okay. So this is going to be like... Tetris attack or something. Target the area around them. Strike, Ember, and Shock spell. Okay, well that one's all together. Oh wait, no, I wanna... A is cast it, there we go. And I'm on my Xbox 360 controller, so then that one moves it to another square. Pew pew, laser beam, and... So I can do three in a diagonal. Okay. Pressing RT. Okay, so I wonder... Oh, that's an interesting way to battle. Okay, so I wonder what... Obviously, that was very easy. I wonder what the enemies do. Ooh. I'm excited to get into, like, the first real battle to see how that plays. Yeah, that was easy. Just let that. I'm gonna just let that line be. Oop! Vibration. Something's happening. Oh yikes! Oh yikes! Medusa fried that thing. Oh my! My hands are small, I know, but they're not yours. They are my own. <laughs> hmm. Do I be shocked or do we fight it? I, I don't want to fight the hand maiden tail. I don't want to fight her because she might be good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Chase sequence. <gasps> oh no. Oh! So what's four gonna do? Okay, I'm into this. I am so into this. So is that gonna be like super shock? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like... Now that I... Okay. I like that. No, I'm not okay. I just got hit by a fire. A grievance. I can't wait to see the appeal. <laughs> Language. Language. I did not know this was going to be an M-rated stream today. <laughs> Oh well. Ah. 
Find a different way out of the shrine. So no, no fire, fire bad. Okay. So now I'm on my own. Oh, but this healing thing. Mm, okay, you probably only get to use it like one time. Oh, can I drink? That's the only way I'm getting through this. Ah, uh, she won't drink the beer. All right, that's all right. Let's see. What's this big pile of ash? Oh. It's a burial. Somebody's done gone. Uh-oh. Let's see. Fry it with that. Let's see. There's a lot of shock things here. Fry it with that. Make some fire. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, that'll fry... Oh, 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 wait, wait, no, shoot. I'm mixing up my buttons again. Better heal up a little. Fry him with a fireball, fry him with... Okay. That's, I gotta, you know what? Considering I went into this game completely blind, like I knew, you know, I got the back of the box spiel type of thing. So I knew it was like a puzzler type of thing, but I really like the combination of puzzle and RPG. I mean, sure, I've probably seen that in a game somewhere before, but that's that's neat. Now I wonder if there's, like, player versus player type of stuff or what. I didn't see anything like that on the menu, though, but that could always be something they want to do later. Or who knows? Who knows? Oh, we got to take on two at once now. Okay, let's... Oh, my God. These guys like to run up and give you hugs. I'm not feeling that. Oh, that's why you have the dash thing. That's why they told you to dash more. So the yellow shock things only hit the floor around you. I gotta hit more of these fire things. And what were the purple ones? The purple ones are some weird void thing that kind of does stuff. That's okay. Okay, so I got to use my dash more to get out of trouble. So they they aren't hitting the... It looks like they're not hitting the tiles. I imagine that would be a logical mechanic that happens later on. That maybe the enemies start fucking with the tiles. A weird sword. Um, I'm into it. I wonder if that will let me open the door that I saw earlier. Aha. It's glowing. I did it. Oh, all my friends. I was like, uh oh, I have to fight four enemies. No, I found my friends. Uh oh. Big boss time. to fight it maybe it's a big bad for later or something or maybe it's gonna chase us nope back on the sky bobsleds back home to think about think about what we did uh-oh <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> I don't want to die. Can I match tiles and not die? Just heal myself a lot? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you're gonna die. Me neither, girl. Or can we? Ooh, Rainbow Tail sticking up for himself. <laughs> I like that they're they're all the same emote. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I guess. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> this game's got a potty mouth. It's okay, so do I. I think I slipped out the F word earlier, so whatever. SSJ100 Matt made the joke I was going to make for those on Twitch that can see that, just so you know. Hopefully he's still watching. <laughs> but I wonder, isn't somebody going to see her and be like, there's still a human here. That's Oh, she's got the, does the mask? Maybe the mask. It's one of those things where, like, the mask they can't tell or something. Evil team. <laughs> okay, I know we're probably not supposed to like him, but I think I kind of do. Oh, I like that because it looks like Flynn's arcade. I think somebody, somebody in the art department was inspired. I think. voice acted whereas everybody else kind of talks like the sims was that like a was that because that was like an earth person and so maybe like the emerus people speak simlish type thing hmm curious yeah that's what i'm thinking dark Tetsuya. I don't know if there's anything else to do. I mean, would there be anything? Oh, what's is this like a memorial or something? Who died? It's sad. Okay, I'm gonna throw a crazy theory out there. So there's a stuffed fox. That thing that chased us in the dungeon could that have been a fox or was it more wolf to you i don't know hmm all right i guess we'll find out tomorrow oh i got a cheesement welcome to amaris that must have been like stage one buzz buzz Wanted to let you sleep in. Keep the mask on. Yeah, okay. So that's kind of what I was thinking earlier. They won't be able to tell us easy that she shouldn't be there.
I love the use of emote icons in this game because that's how I text people too. It really is. Okay, so what? Uh, so quests is really nothing. Inventory. I have that sword, but we don't know much about that yet. And then I guess this is nothing yet. So. Aha. Let's text. Um, yeah, let's text Rainbow Tail. Why would your friend just randomly pass out? Oh, she stayed up all night during research. Okay. The shrine's in the portal. <laughs> okay. Well then, how do I text? Oh, I just gotta text the others. Okay, uh, let's text. Well, let's text her, because she might have the answer. But she's passed out, okay. So let's text our cool friend. Okay, so we texted all her friends. Is it weird? Dr. C says, is it weird I'm vaguely reminded of Homestuck? Um, no, but I, I'm not familiar. I just know the art style of Homestuck. I don't know the comics very well. I will have to, I'll have to run this game by Dark Sakura. She's more of an expert in the homestuck verse stuff. <laughs> Accepting my fate. the market. Okay. So we get to go exploring. There's my buddy. Well, let's let's just be blunt. I want to know more about why there's like a time limit. Like what happens? Oh, what's what's this person? The Xanarch and Abes. Yeah, I'm into the art style too. It's very, um, yeah, like, like hand drawn, very, um, like lots of time and little details. Like I like all the little details in the memorial, things like that. So what was that? Was that was another, that was another quest? Oh, okay. I get it. So there might be a hat for somebody that's just going to be around somewhere. Trap your opponent with a shock spell before using ranged attacks. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. So there's there is a little strategy as to when you cast certain spells, it seems like. A first area was probably pretty easy, but <laughs> I like this sly little I love I love that sly little emote. Okay, that guy might be a little creepy. Okay, boy, oh boy, everybody's giving me a new quest. All right. Okay, it doesn't look like I can go in fangs. I can't go in bean bros. There's a little, like a little demon hat on the ground or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping an eye out to see if there's like that baseball hat for that one quest might be hiding anywhere. And like my, it's like, I can't help it. My Final Fantasy brain kicks in and it's like, is there a hidden treasure chest under the shadow? Waste time in the arcade. Okay, who are these folks? <laughs> Vespers like fangs are not sitting okay with me. Of course, it's my real face. How dare you ask? You Splatoon kid. Exactly. <laughs> buzz, buzz. Oh, did I talk to everybody? Find me in the training yard ASAP. Okay. So I must have talked to everybody. Okay, so everyone knows this incredible woman, Lily Chidu, right? She, like, basically invented the internet connection between Earth and Emerus. Well, next week, I have the total privilege of interviewing her. I cannot wait. She's a total pioneer of science and technology, and she has a big announcement. Appreciate everybody for watching. As always, Aki signing out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You know you want to. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video. Okay, bye! I wonder if they have somebody um, with some relative level of internet infamacy doing that voice. Is this the training art? I don't know which what the training art is. Okay, no, that was where the portal was. So the training art must be all the way back where I started. Making my way back. I want to do some more of those battles. Was the training yard the thing I went to on the tram? It must be. Oh shit. No, I went here already. This is where I came out of. Training yard. Oops, not that. Quests. 
to meet her in the training yard. I think I saw some stairs leading there by the quad. Okay, so there's stairs. Oh. This. I didn't see that last time. Clever. Was it blocked off, maybe? Baseballs. Is that dude's hat here? Oh, no, it doesn't look like it. All right. I've had those nights. In fact, I'm drinking coffee right now. <laughs> I'll be nice, because again, I like her Im embedded crystals and the fact that they match her nails. Forever answer. Not enough coffee. Okay, some more shrines to explore. Let's catch up with everybody first. Too late. I'm still kind of liking the guy I'm not probably not supposed to like. All right, off to the tram then. I'm not sure what else there's to do here. I mean, I didn't see any items for quests in the area or anything. They're probably in the shrines, I would guess. I don't know. We'll see. We still have to kind of learn more about the story and where this is all going. Ooh, it's pretty. The shrines are pretty. So if these guys were characters on Scooby-Doo, who's who? Because I would say the girl with the crystals is definitely the Velma, because she's the smart one. Because uh, she's figuring out all the answers. I would say um, Horace, the guy with the mask, is probably Scooby. Because uh, he says the nonsensical things. Or maybe he's Scrappy. But Scrappy, would Scrappy have drank? I don't know. He might also be Shaggy. Ooh, do I get to pick who I'm going with? Oh, <laughs> why don't you both stay outside? 
Um, I'm gonna take the smart one. A devastating ember attack that increased power by triggering every ember rune in the area. Oh, that sounds kind of dangerous. I like that. Interesting. I wonder why it's in that pattern. Does that mean I have to destroy stuff in that pattern, maybe? I guess we'll find out. Okay. Okay. Uh, evil team. Uh. Interesting. So, what do the other ones do? An advanced void spell for multiple enemies. He does the fire. What does she do? The shock. Dry magic energy from additional cure runes in the area. It restores vitality with the potential to temporary increase. So she's like super heals. And I didn't bring him in. Magical barrier. Oh, that would have been pretty cool. All right. So I think between uber fireball and void spell, I'm going to stick with uber fireball. I think that sounds fun. Why does the, f the FAQ light always is on? Oh, because I wasn't scrolling up and down, dum-dum. Okay, so this is like a recap of everything so far. Got it. And so it's red, or it was lit because I have the shapes now. Okay. I'm learning. Okay, uh, 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 oh, golly gosh. Oh, shoot. I keep in the wrong buttons. I like that it's giving me help because I'm screwing up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can. Oh, my God. Okay, there's a heal. Here's a shot. Get closer. Ha! Fry you. Okay, that'll be more. Let's see, so we're, we're starting, starting to get a pattern here. Okay, one's down. Cool. Is this, was it a U? Oh, wrong way. Oh no, it missed. Ugh, barf. Get closer. Dang it. Okay. Get close. Come on. Come closer. Come closer. Oh, I'm trying to fry it. 
Come on, come on. Uh. Let's see if I can hit it. Get her! Get her! I did it! Yay! Hey, big red pimp. Good to see you. Thanks for watching tonight. We're playing this new game called The World Next Door. And it's kind of like a puzzle, like a RPG-ish kind of puzzle battle. It's kind of got a neat mechanic. Lots of, uh, lots of story going on here, too. Yeah, we're going to dig through somebody's journal. <laughs> so many books. Okay, you can't read these books, so it was just these books, I guess. Can I read them again? Yeah, we already read that. Oop, this is going to be another battle. Oh my gosh, they're breaking tiles. That's not nice. Oops. Shoot. Well, I could do two. Okay. Let's see. I can sh shock that guy. Oh, God. I totally ate crap on that one. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I need to heal, maybe. So let's try to draw one of those patterns. Oh! Do you see how, like, she flew over those tiles? Too fast. Let's just see if I can... Okay, good. I gotta get a hit in. Ooh, big heal. Okay, wow. Choices to make. I'll go left. Puzzle. It says, casting a spell adjacent to another prepared spell will empower that spell. Empowered spells are twice as effective as normal. Destroy the target to complete the puzzle. Okay. I would think. Maybe you would do this and this? Let's see what happens. I did it! Hmm. Alright, so I got a fancy item. Do 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 do. Let's keep going, exploring. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, interesting. Well, it looks like I'm already healed to full, so I shouldn't need to use that again. Is this like a save point, maybe? A locket. Hmm. I'm hoping that, I guess the game must save automatically. I got a lot of quests right now. Okay, more fighting. Um, let's see, let's see. What can I use? Oh, more of these. Let's see. I probably should start putting together one of the super spells. Uh, run away, run away. Oop, that'll help. Pew, pew, fireball. Okay. Let's see, can I shock him in place and then do the fireball? That would be rad. Get closer, get closer. Ha <laughs> ha! Death by fire! Oh, one's still alive. There we go. Rip. Ooh, secret door. Hmm, can't use it yet. Ooh, what's this though? I'm gonna guess that opens the door. Well, wait. Okay, before, because you know, you know, you know, I gotta explore every room. That's just that's just how it is in these type of games. Leave no stone unturned. So that empowering thing, ooh, I got a little, another achievement. That little empowering thing is kind of like always true. It wasn't just true in that one room. I'm noticing that. Okay, I wanna try to get this little Medusa lady stuck in place. Okay, maybe I can't, I don't know. I'm gonna keep trying though. Yes, get closer. No. Nope. Okay, don't get closer. Fine, see if I care. I'll get you! Damn it! You know what? I'm just gonna YOLO and see if it hits her. Okay, good enough. Hitting the wrong button. Ah! Okay. Heal myself up to full because I'm about to get her. I did it! Okay, nothing in that room though. Okay, healy, healy thing. Yes, I will heal. Because this looks like a door that a key might go in. Ooh, is this going to be a big boss fight?
Oh, I'm scared. Oh, yikes. That actually is kind of scary. <laughs> Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, no! Jerk! He, like, sets things on fire. Let me go by! Oh. I can activate that. Come on. Burninating the rooms I want to runes I want to use. I guess what? Oh my gosh. Stop it! Okay, that's creepy. I don't think these shock things are gonna do anything. Can I get close enough to shock them? Let's just try to make like a really big shock thing. Okay. Okay, it looks like we've got enough of these guys. So let's call on my little buddy to do a super fireball. Nuke it from space! Yikes. Ah, oh, you can't activate the runes when we're in the dark mode. I gotta run! Using that dash button a lot. Okay. Here. Try him with a few of these. Looks like I probably have enough to set up another one of these things. Oh, dang it. Okay, maybe I can cure myself while I'm waiting. Okay, so I need one more. There. Super fireball. Okay, uh, 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 let's see. I'll try to string some of these blue things together. I think the blue just kind of attacks them no matter what. There we go. That'll teach you. <laughs> oh, by the way, I found a sword yesterday. No big deal. Bad kitty. Maybe I didn't want to kill it. Thank you, Pixabacas. That was kind of fun. I like the mechanic of um, like having to like run around the board and rearrange the pieces to do what you want to do. It's kind of neat. Oh, I got another achievement. Yay. Oh, I didn't get to open up that other door. Team. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get to go back in there at some point.
Hey, you waited outside. So ideally, the um, little symbols that you get in the shrines must uh, do something to that portal to make it, like, open up again. <laughs> Rainy is the cautious one. The Shady Twins. they've got some weird ability because the one guy's got a squid on his shirt maybe he's from Splatoon boy I'm really ticking off my friend aren't I If they must like give you new abilities or something. <laughs> so I gotta worry about my friend that I ticked off. So this, okay, yeah, this goes back to this area, which I'm assuming everybody's asleep. Oh, we can hear the. Actually, okay, real talk. Missing students in the area. No one seems to know what happened to them, and personally, I'm super shocked. Like, nobody knows anything. Pretty suspicious, if you ask me. Apparently, authorities, cops, who knows, are still looking for them. I heard Paxton and Persimmon were last seen hanging around the market in Arkeo. So... Well, I'm in the market now. So maybe they were by the portal. Maybe they're on Earth or something. I don't know. I guess we'll, I guess it's all intertwined. Stay tuned, folks. Oh, 
Okay, I guess there's nothing to do but reconcile with my friend. Salutar. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else to do, so sleep time it is. Yeah, see, now I have more friends to text. All right, let's text uh, Rainbow Kid, because I like Rainbow Kid. I wonder if that's why his name is Rainy. Rainy Bow. Uh, Pixel Pockas says, I knew nothing about this game before you stream, but it's cool how it turns match three into something unique. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I honestly didn't know much about this game. You know, just, just the spiel. Uh, the, the, the back of the box spiel, so to speak. Uh, I, I kind of like to go in blind, though, with these games. And I was pleasantly surprised. You're right. It, it's like a unique twist. On It's kind of like you feel like you've seen it before, but you haven't. Uh, let's text the smart one. <laughs> We're gonna go to another shrine. I hope you guys don't mind that I don't voice act the tech voice act the texts. But I just kinda wanna read what's going on and figure it out from there. Okay. Oh, that's all I get to text. I didn't text the new ones. Oh well. They're new anyway. I have heard of Baba Is You, Pixel Pacas, and um, yeah, I'm thinking I've got to play that one pretty soon. I see a lot of buzz about that one on Twitter. So we gotta go find Liza. I mean, why not? Another quest, right? Okay, 
Okay, so he's probably going to that baseball-y area. So she's goth, so she doesn't use pink. <laughs> yeah, what's your problem, dude? <laughs> well, it's as simple as that. I like fire, the end. Oh, that that must be the goth girl. I'm just gonna take a wild gander. It's like, why are you so obsessed with me? <sighs> Interesting. Fancy lip gloss, my favorite. All right, well that, that seemed pretty easy. Yeah, why do you care? I think you should mind your own beeswax, Lux. Oh, I got an achievement. Pretty in pink. Cool. Find your hat. You're new. I like her water theme she's got going on. It's pretty fierce. Looking under the bleachers. Oh, that's gonna be one of those wild goose chases where you have to follow him everywhere. Oh. Do you even lift? <laughs> I love his shirt. Refresh. doing on time oh, we're about to 8 30 i'll probably play a little while longer i'm actually kind of wanting to know what happens next you meet a lot of new people sure bat boy since we're headed towards the arcade anyway why not
Let's be a little blunt. Hmm, so he kind of ended up saying the first thing anyway. Hmm. just give her a locket. I'm gonna uh, just give her a big smoochy hug. Find your manga yet? Yeah, we're gonna have to chase them all over the town. Okay, let's see. If there's anything by the portal. Oh, what's in the bush? Ah. No, it's the one dude's hat he's looking for. How about this kind of guy that was creepy earlier? I find it kind of interesting. The music is very subtle in this game. I don't know if you guys noticed, but like it just very kind of like as you meet certain people, the mood of the music changes. It's very um, soundtrack. Kind of sounds like it's gonna sound like a, a disc, but it's not like a like a Peanuts cartoon. The when you're kind of like walking around, the the like piano tune that plays is very kind of like, you know, setting the mood of the gang and whatever trouble they're getting into today. I, I'll be a smartass. Okay, good. Dark Tetsuya agrees with me. <laughs> I mean, this particular song piece doesn't sound like something I would have heard in the Peanuts. Maybe like when Lucy's about to pull the f football or something, but mm. this guy definitely has a little, a little bit of a creepy theme to him. Choose your friends wisely. Mm -hmm. I wonder if, like, the interactions I'm having with people is going to affect, like, some type of developments later on. She's still here. Okay, so we got to give baseball hat to the one guy. But we're going to be right by the train, and that's where Manga Dude ran off to. <laughs> they might, Tarzi XF. They might. Boy, he's really running all around town, hasn't he? All right, well, since I'm right here, did you find your damn book? Yeah. 
<laughs> Booty kicker. <laughs> And I got an achievement. Can we read the booty kicker? I guess you don't really select items. It's just in your inventory. Maybe it will be important later on. Okay, let's go give Hat Guy his hat back. Yay, ooh, another achievement. Yeah, uh, the the phone screen kind of already has like a pre-shattered look to it. It's realistic, TBH. Okay. Is that, I think that's it. Have I talked to everybody? I think it is. So what did it want me to do now? So another another shrine. Make sure I'm ready this time before we run to the tram. I think I've think I've done everything. Okay, nobody seems to be giving me any like super new direction or anything. So I think we're good to go to the next place. Boy, she's a little antagonizer, isn't she? Ooh, are they gonna fight? Mm, I'm gonna stick up for my friend. I really feel like with what that guy told you, like, maybe you're supposed to really be cautious with some of your choices. I'm so curious to see how this, like, plays out. It would be an interesting replayability thing, too, if, like, these choices really do have consequence. Like, some of them might not. Like, um, you know, kind of like how I chose to calm her down kind of worked out the same way no matter what. Yeah, Lux is kind of a meanie because there's that whole lip gloss incident too. Everybody's fighting. Trouble on the train. Ooh, a fire shrine. Gosh, who do I take? Um, what can I say? Okay, I want to see. Does the mean girl have a good ability? Enemies attack each other. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. And what does he do? Violent magic has shock runes automatically trigger. Okay, so he just sets off all the shock runes. What does he do again? Cures. And Baroon's advanced void spell. Hmm. I still kind of feel like he has the best ability, especially because some of those bosses and things had like a ton of hit points. So I I think he's the one that's got to go. And then I guess, yeah, Horus is going to go. 
Ooh, I can take more than one. Who else do I take? Do I take... I don't think the shock one's pretty good. The confuse is pretty good. Blocking damage is nice. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go all damage. Let's let's take um. Yep. Can we take one more? Cause if so, then I'll take. Okay. June gated additional power shape. Okay, and now you get to assign who you want to do what. Okay, so I'll keep him with that shape. And then we'll do... Yeah, that works. Oh, he just shut off everything I was about to use. Okay, let's see if I can. Ah. That's what you get. Okay, fried one. Cure would be good. Just a little. Just a little cure. Maybe some of these, like, instant attacks wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. Oop. Shoot. I keep hitting the, the one to tether him when I meant to activate him. There we go. And then maybe if I... Uh, let's try that again. Oh, shoot. I did it again. Okay, let's do a super shock. And then hit him with a, okay. Hooray. Oh, I kind of like the whole like goat motif going. Oh, he leaves, why does he leave like little splotchy things behind? Boy, that guy kind of ran fast. Hmm, I don't think I need to heal that bad yet. Let's go this way. Uh, maybe I didn't really want to do that? More fire! Oh my gosh. Slow down, y'all. I need some healing. some healing. Um, okay, okay. Let's see. Do this, 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 and that. Super fireball! Haha. -ha. Okay, can't go in there yet. Ooh, what's the blacksmith thing? I guess we'll keep going this way. OK, 
Okay, what's the puzzle this time? Casting a spell adjacent to another prepared spell will empower that spell. Empowered spells are twice as effective as normal. Both the spells cast and the order they're cast are important. Okay. So my thought is... This needs to be green, or blue. You kind of have to get all the greens together. But you also really need the reds together. How does that look, guys? Let's try this. So heal would go first, because this isn't going to do any damage. And empowers the strike. And hopefully the fireball. Woohoo! Ooh, that looks ominous. All right, cool. I got an amulet. All right, let's see. I skipped a room, and I'm very much leave no stone unturned. So let's see what's up here. Oh gosh, another battle room. Oh gosh, this would be a big battle room. Now let's just try to set off a bunch of spells. Golly, golly, golly. Okay. Ugh. No! These are not nice. There we go. That'll keep him out of my hair for a minute. Okay, there we go. A Slytherin definitely made that amulet. Yes. Now we're making some damage. Let's see if I can fry this last one. I do not. The purple unicorn dude looks nice, but he's mean. He is a meanie. So we're gonna shock him in place and super fireball. Ha ha. Gotcha. Oh, this must be the big boss, but of course there's a key that I don't have yet. Unless the amulet does it. Well, let's... I don't want to heal because there's probably another battle room. Yeah, it's a different key I need. Okay. So, I was going the right way and then went all the way back for no reason. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Gosh, 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 gosh. Okay, um... Fireball, another fireball, heal. Okay. These are not very forgiving. It's very compressed in here. It's not enough space. Too many cooks. Oh gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. <sighs> Shit. I died! Oh my gosh, that was so many enemies for a small space. Alright. Oh, I hope it doesn't send me all the way back. Okay, no, it sent me to when I last saw one of those heal thingies. So I guess maybe it is a good thing I went up there. Oh, you know what? I wasn't at full health. Oh. Well, I am now. I don't know why I died. That was a, that was a tough battle. It's a very compressed space.
Okay, oh, did I already fry one? It looks like I already fried one, that's good. Stay in place. Let me think for one damn minute. All right. I guess there's a good thing there's that um, mode that we saw in the very beginning, very, very beginning of the stream on the menu that would have allowed us to just kind of like, oh, jeez, just like skip these battles basically or not, I wouldn't take damage. So if this became too much... I could always do that. But I got it. I got it. It just took another attempt. That's all. We're good. All right. So we know the door is. Can we open these yet? Hmm. I wonder if I have to come back later. I bet that's something that's going on. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be another scary boss. Okay. He's like wearing bombs. I just like froze time I think or maybe the boss did that I don't know yikes oh thanks for making fire though Aha, so if they're... I hope I'm not healing him with all this fire. The water strike is probably a better option. Oh, what a brat. Oh, I got him. Yay, I did. <laughs> Thanks for those bits. <laughs> yeah, the healing, the healing is... Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I guess if I was healing him, it would have... Done green. I think those fires were just like a less effective attack, though. <laughs> Hooray! I got another one. So where's that going to take? So back to start. Let's see if they fight more on the way back. <laughs> oh, are they going to make up? Hug it out, hug it out. <laughs> I like appreciate you or whatever. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, they made up, sorta, kinda, a little bit. They're getting there. <laughs> I saw that donation. Thanks, Pixel Pacos. That's great. <laughs> I like shock face. What? I was gonna say, I won't like her parents know she's gone. Like something, some. And I think that's gonna, yep. And look, another little rune is glowing up there. And that's gonna bring us to probably a close of doing shrine number two. And I think will also probably bring us to a close of the VOG Indie Showcase for tonight. I don't wanna give too much of the game away, um, but that was fun. Uh, you know, cause I didn't, I really knew very little about the game going into it. Obviously very story heavy. I'm so curious to know like what kind of impact some of your choices that you made in the dialogue might kind of like make with it. Um, so curious to see how that goes. I did like that battle. I kind of hope there's more of it um, as you do more of the shrines and kind of peel back the story. There was a lot of like dialogue and story and it was, it was, um, it was interesting, but I was really enjoying those battle sequences. Even the one that killed me, it was like, okay, we'll just got to try a different approach and do that uh, differently. So I bet that will probably pick up. Uh, in the third and fourth shrines. And then again, as we kind of saw the menu earlier, for those that want to take it a little bit easier, it looks like you can disable that. So um, thanks, uh, Rose City Games. Uh, good luck with everything on the release of this game and so forth. Um, I, I think uh, this is, I, I would like to try this on the Switch. I think that puzzle stuff would be a lot of fun on the Switch. And I'm going to hope maybe they turn that uh into like some type of like pvp sort of thing might be really fun that was really cool anyway um again i want to give a shout out to to viz media for uh giving us the key here at vog network to do the stream tonight thank you thank you uh and uh thanks you guys for watching as well as 100 matt says it was a great stream thanks for streaming it you're welcome thanks for being here i know i know we haven't done stuff outside of sundays really ever since the network first went live but we're gonna try to do more some other parts of the week so you guys have more to look forward to than just sunday nights and the live shows um hopefully some of our other shows will start doing more video and stuff we'll see uh and as joe 100 matt says this would be a great game on switch well good news it's not just on steam but it is on switch and it just came out today on both platforms so if y'all are curious for more you know what to do um at this point, I'm going to go ahead and end the archive. But for those of you that are watching live, stay tuned. Uh, but that is the VOG Indie Showcase for tonight. Have a wonderful uh, rest of your week, everybody. And please tune in Sunday nights at the Voice, Geek ne Voice of Geeks Network for Bobby Blackwolf at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific, 8 Eastern, and Orange Launch Radio. That's the show I'm on. 6 o'clock Pacific, 9 o'clock Eastern. And, of course, support all the great indie podcasts that make up the Voice Geeks Network. If you're into gaming, you might like uh, a Game Buoy. You might like Electric Sisterhood. If you're into anime, Viz Media you know, gets involved in that, too. You probably like uh, Anime Jam Session, which is hosted Tuesdays here uh, at Vogue Network. So check out all those great shows. But that's going to end this for now. Uh, have a good night, everybody.